I'm Savvy Gutierrez. And I'm Digna Caruso. And together we are the Social Soda. Hey guys, <laughs> well, make sure to like and share our page. Follow and subscribe to all our social media platforms here or there. Here, we don't know so where they are, <laughs> so we're trying to figure it out. But So, happy Thursday. You. Yes, seriously, happy Thursday. So the week is almost over. I saw yeah. your throwback Thursday picture. Oh yeah, it's throwback Thursday. Can you explain what? <laughs> well, I can, and it's very relevant to our um, our day jobs, because you know, guys, we're realtors, so my throwback picture is my very first real estate photo. And it's really funny, guys, because I actually took this picture at Glamour Shots. <laughs> <laughs> you guys remember that, Glamour Shots. It's probably not around anymore, is it? What is the What's the date stamp on that? <laughs> um, I think it's 2008, guys. I mean, don't don't kill me. I'd like you know what though, because I wasn't even 30 yet. I didn't know that glamour shots was around in like the 2000s because in my head, I think glamour shots. I think the 90s. I think like. What is it, Dyna What is it, Napoleon Dynamite? <laughs> oh my gosh! But yeah, I, I it cracks me up. I don't even know why I went there. I just, wow, yeah, wow. <laughs> and mine is um, I know it's it's totally oddball, but mine is Halloween, and I was actually supposed to be. I didn't even show mine. I was supposed to be a clown. So this was in Vegas when I was living in Vegas. I don't know if you guys knew, but I lived in Vegas for a long time. It was with, it's with one of my best friends, Paul. So he is actually out in England. He's from Liverpool. Oh, but so his name is Paul. Paul. I can't Ooh. understand anything he says, but I love him, kiddo. I love you. <laughs> so um, yeah, so he was our uh, designated driver that day, and I was supposed to be a clown. But, you know, it's funny that you say that, and it, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but we have a friend named Paul, a friend named Paul. He's also from England, and we never understand what he says, and it's crazy. <laughs> hey, Paul, if you're watching, pool, pool. But this is how we communicate. He gets mad. We yeah. never understand what he's saying. Who but we're now? sure it's funny. <laughs> I'm sure it's quite funny, but I never understand what he's saying. Yeah, so uh, this year, 2011, he um, he was actually supposed to be our designated driver, and I thought I looked like so smoking. I was this clown. And people just kept coming up to me, and they were like, oh, Wonder Bread. And I was like, what? No, I'm a clown. <laughs> They like, do look like Wonder Bread. I'm and they're Google just like, that. oh, okay. Can I take a picture with you? I was like, yeah, sure. And then it's like everybody else can. It's like Wonder Bread. And I was like, I am Wonder Bread. Yes, I am Wonder Bread. So you started <laughs> as a clown and you ended up as Wonder I was, Bread. I was Wonder Bread. 2011, oh, my gosh. costume was Wonder Bread. Yes. So, um, guys, I know that we asked you to post your Throwback Thursday pictures. So please go ahead and post them. I want to see them. Sabi wants to see them. I We're going to comment them. on them. Yes. So guys. this is going to be a weekly thing. So <laughs> start getting them ready, guys. You can go all the way back. It doesn't all matter. All the way back in your 20s when you were like a baby. Those so, are my favorite hey, ones. Hey, you can even do your ultrasound pictures. Oh, my gosh. And you know what? <laughs> Speaking about embarrassing pictures, let's talk about uh, ugly Christmas sweater parties. Did I say that right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I had to think about that for a second. Have you been shopping for them? I have been looking. I have. Eric and I were shopping yesterday, and it's like you can find the best selection in the most random spots. We, we were at Penny's, so JC Penny's had a great selection. Okay, girls and guys, for your petite girls, go to the junior sections. You will find the cutest freaking sweaters. And Forever 21 has a good selection as well. We didn't well. stop, Eric, we didn't stop by Forever 21. Oh, you know what? Men hate Forever 21. He hates everything. <laughs> most men, most men hate them all, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, they do. Especially since I had him go to Memorial, he's like, babe. Oh it's like, I wanted to like, I was actually trying to film him in the parking lot because it was hilarious. The commentary was Frank, hilarious. Frank will say, um, can I stay in the car? I have something to do on my phone. And I'm like, get off. I'm like, I'll buy you a hot chocolate. And I'll wait in the car. <laughs> and he literally will wait in the car for about an hour, hour and a half, sometimes two hours. And he's OK with that. He's probably working. <laughs> he's so, calling people. So Penny's he, is a good one. Forever 21. Forever 21. And um, 
What's the other one that you said? Um, well, you know, Kohl's. You I got mine Kohl's. at Kohl's, and which I've I'll actually, be wearing soon. And I've actually seen some at Walmart, and they don't break the bank, you guys. They're super affordable. So, because, you know, there's quite a few of those parties going on. It's just not one. There's like, yeah, I'm so, going at least three or four this year. Honestly, this, year, this month, this like two weeks. So they of it. started to get popular. What was it? Four or five years ago. And it's like, they were so expensive. And Tipsy Elves is actually one of the big really? ones because they were on Shark Tank or whatever. So they've blown up. They have probably some of the best. Well, and it's true. It's like a phenomenon because... When I was in Charleston, when I went to visit my daughter graduate from basic training, because, you know, she, my daughter's in the military, and I just had to throw that in there. <laughs> and they have an actual, they have a, uh, a Christmas sweater store that is full of Christmas sweaters, and not, not just new, but, like, old ones, like, actual yeah. Christmas yeah. sweaters that were made, like, from the 80s and 90s. Yeah. They were so cool. And I thought about how it. much were they though? I didn't ask. Okay, because it's like what I've noticed. It's like if you go to the, the, if you go through to the thrift stores, it's like okay, you're thinking oh okay secondhand or whatever. But it's like if you go through the thrift stores, they're expensive. Yeah, you end up spending sure. forty dollars. You go to you go to a department store. Obviously, they have to get them out of there, and you're yeah. only spending like twenty bucks. And with the holiday season, they have all these sales and promotions. So you walk out there yeah. spending what like maybe twenty bucks or something. Which is super affordable if you're not going to wear it, but maybe one day out of the year. Right. And so. also, like, especially for the gentlemen, what I've seen, don't limit yourself to just sweaters. It's like, I, I know we were at that thing yeah. last week, and, and it's uh, like they had the suits. What's his name? Oh, my gosh. Jack. Jack had the whole suit with the tie. <laughs> He's so crazy. I looked at him, and I was like, I knew your ass would be wearing something like that. He would, he would, but you know what? He's he's like a little he's like a little brother. Yeah. He's such a funny kid. You know, he was so happy about that suit. He he loves. He looked great. It. You look fabulous. Yes. You so if fabulous. you're watching Jack Galloway, props to your suit. We loved it. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Speaking of that well, party was so absolutely. Lit. That's what I was gonna say. Nice segue. I know. That party was amazing. I almost didn't go <laughs> because I'm such a homebody. And it's like, then I realized that you, you were going. Asked me. Yes, and then I realized that you were going. And I was just like, all right. And you know what? It was worth it. It was so much fun. It was. The, the girls looked absolutely beautiful. It was stunning. Like, it was like a fashion show. It of was real like estate. divine by a but, but all worn over by him. realtors, like seriously, loan officers. And I'm not, I mean, I don't know, but we have a lot of beautiful realtors in our city. Oh my gosh. Houston, you are one lucky city. Yes, and I also want to say a quick shout out and thank Lisa Mercia for inviting us. And Glenn, I hope I don't mess up your name, Sherrock. And Glenn, also, of course, um, Ashley and, um, gosh, I forget the other name, Ashley and can't remember. I'm sorry. I don't want to be rude, but it's Ashley and I can't remember the other one. But you guys, you do amazing. Your parties are always off the chain. Like, wow. Should Definitely. we tell them who we, they were with? Patton Law Firm. Patton yeah, Law Firm. Yeah. So Ashley Patton, but I can't remember the, I just like escaped my mind. Yeah, so we're Patrick, 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 and actually they're the owners of Patton Law Firm. So if you guys don't know, Sabi and I are both real estate agents, and that's kind of how we met, you know, yes. at a real estate event. Actually, at one of Patton Law Firm's events. Yes, Kirby. yes, definitely. It so just kind of came full circle. Full circle, yeah. So we met at one of those events, and um, here we are again. Yes, we are. So and. And, you know, there was a few birthday parties, birthdays this week. And um, one of them uh, was my really good friend that I love so much, uh, Karina Cruz Barrios. Happy birthday. Uh, her birthday was on Monday, but we celebrated her birthday on Friday at Bizu, which was also Bobby's, Bobby's birthday. Bobby's birthday. And who was actually celebrating there that day. So yeah. happy birthday, Bobby. I don't know how old he is. I don't. I don't like to ask because I can't you remember. You never <laughs> ask a lady her age, okay? And uh, and also in the uh, real estate, um, 
but she's not. She's titled Josie Anderson. Yes, and she is such a beautiful person. Uh, she actually, didn't she walk in um, Bobby's yes, show? The yes, the for the, yes. uh, the to raise uh, Isn't awareness Isn't Houston race? the smallest big city that you've oh ever God. known? We're all connected. We all know somebody that knows somebody, and we're always like in uh, this little circle. And not to mention, and also, Gail, I'm really sorry we missed your party that Saturday at Oakmont. I just want to wish you a happy belated birthday. I wish I could have been there with you guys. And also, I uh, missed Jay-Z and Gino's Sweet 15. For, um, their daughter Jasmine had a quinceanera this Sunday. And I'm sorry, guys, that I missed it. Just tired. And there's a lot going on always in this business. So, But happy birthday to Jasmine as well. Aww. Anybody else you can remember that had a Not birthday? that I can think of. Everybody that I know is like a little Scorpio like you. <laughs> <laughs> well, Scorpio babies, our birthday's passed. Yeah. It's Sagittarius season, Sagittarius guys. season, woohoo! Taking over. <laughs> Taking over. Your son's over here like, yes. <laughs> oh, it's, he's enjoying it. It's his month. It's his month. I love it. I love it. Okay, so since we are the social soda. And this is how we want you to be social this week. Yes, we have a couple little, like, little... Places you should visit. Yeah. So. We have a little list of things that are happening this week. And um, if you guys would like to know, uh, like, a different areas or, you know, comment and let us know where you guys are watching from. That way we can also uh, tell you events that are going on in your side of the of of town you yeah. know we don't want to just keep it specifically to one mm -hmm. area so we're not only in their inner loop we are katie mm -hmm. we are sugarland we're missouri city we are the woodlands we are spring and tomball so just everywhere let us know. yeah let us know comment where you where you're watching that way we can you know cater to you as well and if you're a small business let us know it's like we'd love to come out there and just like promote you so yeah, we'd love to go and hang out with you <laughs> <laughs> yeah definitely especially that <laughs> oh yeah so let's talk about one of the things that's going on it, because it is the holiday and you know we're in the spirits and season. all the kids are off right now oh, so you oh have to God. get all that energy out of them oh my god well uh skate with santa still going on at discovery green so if you guys missed it last saturday you guys can still take the kids this weekend and i mean you guys like to skate you guys can go too it's not just for kids so Everybody can go skate with Santa. Yeah, definitely. And there's so many things going on at Discovery Green. So that whole little ice rink has like, it has designated days. So every Wednesday for all you single people out there, break the ice every Wednesday night and bring your date out. So They don't mean that literally. Don't break don't the ice, Don't break the guys. ice. <laughs> you know how political everybody can be. So you might need a little waiver for that <laughs> and then on fridays guys on fridays just a little unwind a little bit and it's gonna be fun betty friday so Ooh. they actually have dj mohawk steve which makes like the whole ice skating thing a lot of fun so bring your kids Sounds bring like your fun. parents you know like the older parents and they love people watching so come out there and skate and have a good time and then you can just like <laughs> cruise around and walk around and enjoy this cold if weather if i go skate i'm gonna be that weird person wearing like knee pads elbow pads helmet because I'm probably going to fall about a hundred times. And that's okay. We <laughs> ask you to just take pictures and tag us on him. <laughs> <laughs> we said before, we're not coordinated. We cannot do sports. So guys, no, don't I judge. can run. I can that way, and that's it. <laughs> I can power walk them all. I, I mean, I can walk like nobody's business, believe me. I can get from here to there like... I know this is totally off subject, but it's like I went into Agassi yesterday at Memorial and I didn't find those earrings. No, it's in the Galleria. I figured. Okay, moving oh on. Okay. <laughs> and it's and I always say Agassi and I get so much flack for it because tomatoes, it's Agassi. Tomatoes. That's what I say to me. What did I say? You said Agassi. Okay. And I say Agassi and my God, my daughter makes so much fun of me. She's like, it's not, a, oh, is it Richard? I don't know which one it is. You know, whatever. Tomato, tomato. But I know I get picked on because I say a gassy and not a gossy. They're like, there's a, they're like, it's an apostrophe. Oh my God. Whatever. Whatever. That is so funny. But you guys know what I mean. Everybody, all the girls know what, what we mean. One more thing. Okay. Uh, we're taking oh, it a little bit further. I, I forgot to, to say, mention, you know, 
Santa's Wonderland. They have new hours. Yes. I forgot all about you that. You were out there just recently, uh, right? They. Well, no, I haven't been this year. I'm waiting. My daughter will be here um, Wednesday. But oh, wait, where were you on Sunday? Went to the 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 Heights Market. They they're gonna have that every Sunday. Till somebody says otherwise, but it's determined. it's in the parking lot of Onion Creek in the Heights. Oh, and they and they have the cutest vendors there, guys. You guys need to check it out. I was there and I bought some stuff. And I had to leave because if not, I was gonna keep buying stuff. But um, it's nice. It's quaint. You can have brunch and you can shop the little market. It's not too big, so it's not overwhelming. It's a nice little. It's a nice way to spend your Sunday afternoon. Yeah, I know. Absolutely. But um, the, the, as I was saying, the Santa's Wonderland, they have new hours. They used to only open on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sunday, at least that I remember. But now they're opening um, and where is during this the week. Up? This is in Bryan and College Station. And now uh, it's so cute, guys. If you haven't been or haven't taken your kids, they take you, you need on to. a, they put you like on the back of a trailer. It's a hayride. And yes. there's like lights and lights and it's music. Um, it's it's such a fun experience. I and love it. And that's a good little getaway that's not very far. You can get a little Airbnb. And they have funnel cakes and hot yes. cocoa. It's just like in a it's just like a fun family experience. It's like it feels like you're I love it. Yeah. Yeah. So if you guys haven't been, take your kids out there. It's a good way to spend a an evening. Definitely. So you get to take pictures with Santa. I know that last year we took our little niece who was she was six and she was oh she should have seen her face it was priceless she'd never yeah. been there that was her first time and she was like in heaven guys it's beautiful to see that so guys just throwing it out there um so well taking it a little bit further out to the east coast i mean we went to the inner <laughs> state um, Kima is actually having their whole little like winter wonderland. Oh. It's called Jingle on the Boardwalk. Ooh. So Jingle on the Boardwalk. Yeah, so it's pretty much very Christmas theme. Come out, enjoy all of the vendors that are out. You can mm -hmm. take pictures with Santa also and just just come dressed in your holiday spirit. It's like a lot of the boats will have lights on you them. You know what I've always wanted to see that I, and I actually saw this at of all places in the gallery on Saturday. Um, Christmas caroling and it looked like straight out of a uh, Dickens Charles Dickens book. Eric they just wanted to do Christmas caroling. I was like, do you know really? how I sing? <laughs> do Christmas caroling. So we, Let's just he, send said, the boys. <laughs> he said, Let's the car. so he puts music and then we start singing and then it's like, He's like, I, the way I sound in my head is not what's coming out of my mouth. He's not even listening right now. <laughs> so, so he's like, okay, maybe we should in Christmas Carol, but we should go watch it. We should go watch it. And yeah. it was, it was so like, it was, it's such a cool experience. I used to Christmas Carol as a kid. You but did? I guess, yes, but I don't think that it mattered because we didn't care. Like yeah. when, you're, when you're kids, you're kind of fearless. Yeah. You don't really. And your parents will clap for you no matter oh, what. Yeah, so, so it's like, it, I didn't feel like I was bad, but um, yeah, now I know I can't sing, but I love I can't watching it. at all. So at I all. think that's fun. Maybe we'll get to watch it. I don't even day. like my voice normal. <laughs> so. I think it takes a while for you to get used to listening to your voice. It's kind of awkward. Hey, don't forget to give your shout outs to your friend. Oh my gosh. No, definitely. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Polly G is one of my very good friends. Let me tell you how I met him. So we actually used to do races together. So there is this relay race team called Ragnar. It's all over the, actually it's all over the world because I think really? they have some in, in Europe. So well, you did say you could run. Slow, but. <laughs> <laughs> so Paul and I actually did a relay race in Las Vegas and it was a wow. ultra. So I think we each one of us ended up running 30 plus miles. Wow. Well, wow. anyways, Polly G, I love you so much. Sabi loves you so much. Yes, the social setup loves you so much. He is living his best life, traveling the, the world, and he is in Lisbon, Portugal. Wow. I hear it's beautiful out there. He is an avid fan and he tunes in every week a little Thank later because obviously the time change. But we love you so much. We appreciate you. 
tuning in every week and Thank we appreciate you so your much. support. Love you, love you, love yes. you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> and let's talk about um because we were on the subject of Christmas and you know sweaters and all this. Um let's talk about Toys for Tots. I know that you guys have an event coming yes. up. This um Shauna King and her husband Luis Fernando invited us to a toy drive. Well, that's amazing, Digna. Well, friends are mm -hmm. definitely something to be grateful for. Definitely, definitely. And about being grateful, Toys for Tots. Oh, my. Yes, absolutely. This is something that you guys are very involved with. Yes, well, our friends Shauna King and Luis Fernando invited us to the toy drive later tonight. Yes. And we're both going to be there. We're both going to be there. Yes. And, um,. I don't know if you guys are very familiar with it, but it was founded in 1947, and it's, uh, I think the, the Marines are the ones that are the ones that handle that, but it's, it's just to, you know, give toys to the less fortunate, and just to for, not to forget that there's people that might have more needs than we do, and to think about others than ourselves sometimes, so it's just a, it's a sweet cause, I would say. Yeah, definitely, I, as, that's, I mean, parents, they worry so much about the necessities and it's like holiday time comes around and it's like, it's not at expense. And sometimes it's like you don't want to let your children down because Santa Claus is so yeah. prevalent in this. Well, kids don't understand. Exactly, exactly. You know, and it, it only takes one gift to make a child happy. Exactly. And it, it's such a great cause and I'm super excited to be there with you tonight well. and to just talk to them and if you guys are in the area if you can donate a toy you know it can be from newborn to what do you say I would say probably 15 years old you know we're gonna be at Top Golf in Katie Katie. Yeah, it's off of I-10. I, I get it all confused. It's not in <laughs> Katie, but it, you know, it's on I-10, so yeah. you're going towards Katie, so you're, you, you know where we're talking yeah. about. So it's for a good cause, and come say hi to us. Yeah, definitely, and come hit some balls. I mean, come, come work on <laughs> a short game. Come, say, come hit some balls. We will. We'll probably be in heels. We're going to try yeah. to hit balls, guys. The boys and will probably. probably be having more fun than us, <laughs> but we are going to be there and um, we'll be interviewing a couple yeah, of people. Yeah, we're going to actually be filming live later, um, talking to some of the people that put the event together. So if you guys want to stay tuned for that, you're more than welcome to join our lives because you know how we are. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. But seriously, come by. Just yes. for a little bit. Just come Have a and beer. drop off a gift. An unwrap gift. Yes. You know, uh, anywhere from newborn, newborn to we, we're gonna say fifteen, right? Fifteen. Once mm -hmm. you get into that teenage age, it's probably gonna be gift cards because it's yes. a little bit challenging. Obviously, it it is hard. It's hard to find gifts for people. It, I mean, it's like a job in itself. I, yeah, I like gift definitely, cards. Definitely, definitely. All day long, gift cards are awesome because you can go choose what you like and you're happy. And um, so come have a beer with us or just come chit chat, donate a gift, you know, have a good time. And I be, hear it's a lot of fun. Yeah, <laughs> and be around really awesome people. Like honestly, be around amazing people that just have huge hearts and enjoy the lights and enjoy the atmosphere. So absolutely. And you know what? It's 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 um it's in, it's the season. It's like family fun. It's like a feel good time. So I love all these parties. It's just and, so much fun. And honestly, totally off track, but it's like I used to be in a city where it was like I didn't have any family. So it's like come and hang out with us. We will treat you like family. Like this is when friends become family. Exactly, exactly. So, so you don't have you don't have an excuse to be alone. And guys, we also want to thank our sponsor, Rovi from Geneva Financial, for letting us use their space and yes. sponsoring us. Easy. We official sponsor of the Social Soda. Thank Very you so fun. much, Rovi, for and your your come. support. Yeah, yes. thank you so much. And um, we're gonna have to bring him some deals. Of course, absolutely, guys. It's about to be January. The year is about to be over. If you want to get in with your homestead exemption, 
you need to seal something in quick and we can help you out. We are both real estate yes. agents. We have we are. tons of experience. And yeah. Roby's a lender. And Roby is a lender. So, so it's one deal. stop shopping, guys. We can help you Absolutely. anywhere in the city. We're not just Interloop. We're not just one geographical market. We are all we over are the place. We are everywhere. We are bilingual. <laughs> okay. Sometimes trilingual because. Sometimes trilingual. There's uh, uh, Spanglish. Spanglish. And then gibberish. So I guess what do you. What is. Uh, that's like four languages already. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I don't even know what I'm saying these days. It's crazy. I don't know if that happens to you. Oh, yeah. No, definitely. I don't even know sometimes what I'm speaking. <laughs> so, I think Siri understands like my mind because even when I, I'm texting, it changes it to something that makes absolutely no sense. And somebody will say, what? Now I would say, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know what I was saying. And... Um, uh, so I always, I always get told, proofread, read your text, but I don't ever think that I need to. And then when I go back and read it, I'm like crazy. Oh, I get mad. If I write a text <laughs> message and you cannot understand what I just said, I was like, what? Did you not understand it? You're just playing with me. Okay. So it's crazy. But, but going back to guys, Roby, yes. thank you so much thank you, for Roby. being Appreciate our it. First official sponsor of the Social Soda. You and we don't love know you. Thank you how so much this means yes, to it me. Means the world to us. Sabi, us, Frank, Richard, Richard, the, the official, official hairdresser, hairdresser of the Social, of the social soda. soda. Come here, girl. Come here. <laughs> yes, yes. That whole guy. I talk Hello. about my children all the time. And this is my eldest, one of my pride and joys. I love this kid to the moon and back. Honestly, when I met your son, I was mesmerized. And I told you that I was like, oh my gosh, he is so beautiful. Well, <laughs> I don't know if we have the same hair fluff and that's why. We... And he is the sweetest and the kindest boy. I know he's a grown man, but he's still my boy. I love that kid so much. And guys, not to take away from Roby, but we will be um, looking for more sponsors. We are looking to yes. grow this above and beyond so if you are interested in sponsoring absolutely. us reach out to yes, us DM reach out us and i think most of you guys follow us on our yeah personal we, our instagram facebook or facebook. The social soda i know we keep telling you guys to follow and share but they can follow us on the social soda the on social facebook. soda yes and on instagram it's also the social soda and um, you guys want to follow our personal pages. I know you're under Digna. Digna underscore T Y. Digna T. Get it? Digna T. <laughs> so. And mine is Sabi Gutierrez because I'm the boring one. It actually uses her name <laughs> <laughs> for her social so, uh, platform. And um, but feel free to email us, call us, or you know DM us. We're more than happy to answer any of your questions. So um, we'd love to have you. We'd love to sponsor uh, you. Sponsor us. Yeah, definitely. But for exclusive The Social Soda content, follow The Social Soda. Absolutely. We got a lot of fun stuff, guys. We're everywhere, and we want to keep you in the loop. So follow us. And see you next week, guys. Yeah, Bye. See you next week. Bye.